Who remembers KB Toys back in the 90s? Or are you more of a Toys R Us kid? I can tell if you grew up or not by your response. Today we're going to do a little bit more work on the Rock Hobby MB Scaler. I'm John Holmes with Holmes Hobbies and thanks for tuning in. So as you saw in the last video on this MB Scaler, there's, uh, you know, a little bit of stick to the shocks, but it is a very fun rig to drive. And my biggest lament was probably that I didn't have a driver for it. And uh, I fooled you, I'm really not gonna do much work on this because I found an original G.I. Joe from what year? 1997 on Amazon. There was only one of them. Some random person was selling it. It was not via Prime by any means. And they were selling it for like, 30 35 dollars and i looked on ebay and they were a few hundred dollars so whoever it was didn't do their research or whoever's on ebay shame on you for just gouging price gouging these things but it's new in package it has all the original things which basically is just clothes hat and a huge machine gun which a navy serviceman wouldn't be issued he would probably be issued a mop but I digress. For ages five and up, I hope that this guy, U.S. Navy serviceman, fully posable figure is going to be just the right size for what essentially is a knockoff of the old G.I. Joe scale rig. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to open this package. I'm ruining the resale value of this guy from Kenner, made in China. So let's see. What's the best corner to open from? We'll start. We'll start down here. I've never actually bought a really old toy and opened it. How about you? Are you one of those collectible figure sort of guys that, uh, or gals, but I know who's watching. It's 99.5% men that are between 35 and 45 years of age. I know that y'all are watching this, but for all the guys and gals out there, would you cringe to open this? Would you buy two of them so that you could have two, one new in package and one to play with, I totally would never do that. I couldn't find two of them. Yeah, one to keep original and one to fix up. That might have been why I bought two of those. Although I still took it out of the package. I'm trying to be nice to this. I'm trying to be real nice to this Navy serviceman. U.S. Navy serviceman. Oh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's get some detail shots up there. Being so careful. This blister packaging is classic Kenner. I almost said Hasbro. Classic Kenner. Boy, I remember the days. Hold on. Oh! <laughs> that smelled terrible. Oh my God, why did I smell the air that was 23 years old? Oh my God. This Oh, it smells like mildew and old plastic and oh, like the old Chinese rubber factories. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, oh, and the the rubber, the 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 rubber parts. We'll just put this aside delicately. Oh, he lost his hat. He lost his hat. The the rubber band that had attached his gun to his hand is long gone. Wow. So that whiff of Woo! That whiff gave me a headache. Uh, just, a, just a quick suggestion to all you people at home. If you love smelling the smell of plastics and factories and all that, do not, do not smell a 23-year-old package toy. Oh yeah, this, this, uh, these, these rubber bands are long gone. Ah, oh, the resale value is ruined. It's, it's putting markings all over his his delicate skin colored skin. Uh, I'm going to get over this here in a second, but wow, I feel like I, I just, whew, I feel like I need some fresh air. That's what I need. All right. So he's fully posable. He's got some sort of lump in his butt though. Just it's kind of odd. Can you see that lump? He's doing the chubby checker twist. Just, Come on, baby. Let's see if he fits. Let's see if he fits. What is wrong with your legs? My God, it's, he's never gonna fit in. He, he's like permanently stuck. 
in this like dance pose from Greece. Uh, maybe, maybe we'll get him in. So I assume that this would be the right fitment for this rig. Uh, the steering wheel. Hey, yeah. Um, he's kind of a tall man, you know, as most Navy servicemen are above average height. Arrgh. Or maybe is, is his arm backwards? What did they do to this guy to get him in the package? Oh, does the wrist turn? It does kind of turn. Well, we're probably going to have to just glue his butt down or something. He's driving, he's driving like, <laughs> let's just go with it. He's going to be so ready for action in his pose. Yes. Well, he fits. He floats a little bit. And like our other action figures, these are not toys. Like our other action figures, we might need to do a little bit of modification to them, to him to get him to actually sit right and to stay and to make his shirt not be puffy. No puffy shirts. Uh, but speaking of puffy shirts, oh, he's got the abs. He's got the abs. He's got the eight pack. He's got the chest that looks like he's been taking PEDs all his life. And he also has a weird colored neck. What is up with that? Uh, maybe the 23 years in the package has shown the different types of plastic molding. They didn't quite get the uh, get it right. Oh, and he's got a dog tag. Sweet, he's got dog tags. What's his name? USA. Evidently, his name is USA. And uh, what does it say on the back? GI Joe by Hasbro. So, I guess his name is just USA or GI Joe. But uh, is there something on the package? Anything else on the package? No, nope, we just got USA USAF Chief Crew US. MC boot camp Navy serviceman and Army National Guard. I'm sure that boot camp would have been the better choice or National Guard would have been the better choice for this. Why do they all have guns? What is the chief? What is the USA, the Air Force chief crew doing? <laughs> he's he's in his flight deck. Uh, uh, we got to get a good shot of this. <laughs> Uh, our our Air Force guys in his flight deck crew. He's got his earmuffs on, his hearing protection on, but he's freaking loaded. He is strapped and ready. <laughs> They're all strapped and ready. Like, yeah, let's just hang out on this aircraft carrier and freak like somebody. Oh yeah, somebody's gonna come up, and we need to be ready. Oh. But, you know, they're they're selling this to five year olds, and five year olds are gonna be sorely disappointed if they can't run around the yard with their their navy service man and and be like pow 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 or i guess this would be let's see let's let's get his grip right he's gonna foot loose he's ready oh. i have spent way more time than what i should play with an action figure this is an action figure do not let me know in the comments that this is not an action figure. Because, I mean, look at this amazing opposable. <laughs> all right, all right, I said I was going to stop. I got to go back to work. I got things to do. I have engineering that must be accomplished. Nah, we got to put them in right. I, I can't end on a, oh my God, what did I do to this guy? All right. And I will... I will just sign off with these, this dude's incredible 12 pack of abs and his chesticles that do have nipples. They did include nipples. Thanks Hasbro for that, <laughs> that level of detail. What would we do without you? On the next episode, I'm going to go have some fun. This episode, I wasted all my time playing with the freaking toys. The, sca the, the, the scale accessories, the action figures. Yes, we got to keep it straight. So signing off for now. Bye with John Holmes and bye with Navy Service Man. So it was not a uh, slip of the tongue. It actually does say Hasbro on the dog tags and Kenner on the packaging. So uh, let me know if they were a subsidiary or, or maybe they worked together or something. I don't know the, the whole relationship, 
or you know the the uh, the previous pass to this, but that's kind of weird. Hasbro on the package, or. Kenner? No, Kenner and Hasbro on the package. There we go. I solved it myself. Kenner is evidently Hasbro in 1997. So that just confused me there. All right, for real. Signing off for good this time.